Good morning, Facebook land. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. The weather was amazing. We did two 21 mile rides Saturday and Sunday down to Long Beach and back. And uh, today we're back at it again because uh, just because it's Monday doesn't mean we stop. So uh, today I am here with uh, me and uh, my shadow right there. That's my shadow. Here's me. So me, myself, and I are out cruising today. The force of average hit hard on the rest of my crew. So I came out this morning to an empty driveway. That's all right, because the idea that someone might be there got me out of bed. Went out to dinner last night with the wife. Uh, had a nice dinner at Prime House, Garden City. It's a new spot um, we found, and uh, it's been good. Service is good, food is good, really good sushi. And we were having dinner next to uh, a couple celebrities last night. Um, our own Peter King, Bill O'Reilly. Um, who else were we with? Um, uh, Greg Kelly, Fox 5 News. Now he's got his own show. Um, a couple other guys. Kind of fun. Good guys. Stop to talk to us, take pictures. So, uh, kind of fun. But um, we're down today on the beach over here. Now there's Dawn. What's up, Dawn? Good morning. So we're down here on the beach of Hempstead Lake State Park. Beautiful morning. Sun is rising. The crew's over here starting work. Pretty clean. One thing that makes me crazy, it's uh, people that don't pick up their garbage. Please don't be one of those people. You're out in nature or anywhere. Please pick up your garbage. Don't leave it for someone else. But not too bad. It's not too bad. So anyway, we're back here. We ride at dawn. I ride at dawn. Monday edition. 365 live. So uh, today... I want to talk about something. I'm going to keep following my buddy, Mike Claudio's lead. I don't know if you just got to see uh, Saturday morning, my buddy, Mike Claudio from Apex. He's out of North Carolina. Good dude. Uh, great coach. Great podcast. Big stud podcast. Yes, these guys from Apex do like to curse. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> I've had some comments and messages. Awesome. But uh, yes, they do uh, curse a little bit in their uh, in their speeches in their uh, guidance. So uh, cover your ears if that's too much for you, but it's, it's real and it's from the heart. So I try to keep the cursing down myself, but every now and then it happens. So anyway, so his message um, for Saturday was about um, marriage, um, about really uh, aligning yourself with your spouse, about um, asking them what they need and trying to provide. Uh, it's a two-way street, it's a give and take. Um, are you giving of yourself? Are they giving of themselves? And uh, are you, you know, asking for them what they need and are you giving them what they need? So uh, I kind of want to add to that. Um, you should never stop dating your spouse. Um, back when you're young and you first meet, you always got your hair done and you got, you know, clean shaven and wearing right the nice clothes and you go into the gym and you're working out and you're trying to be fit and everyone's working on themselves to try and be a catch. And uh, then you see people get married and you get stuck, like I call it, the hamster wheel. And day after day, it just becomes average. You stop taking care of yourself. You stop shaving. You stop doing getting your hair cut. You stop doing your hair for women. You stop doing your nails. You stop doing all the stuff that you did back when you were dating to, uh, to feel good about yourself and uh, to look good for your spouse. So, uh, part of, uh, it's also best behavior. So when you're dating, you're on best behavior. Uh, you go out of your way for the other person. And after a while, the, the thrill is gone. It fades in a lot of cases. And that's what uh, leads to troubles. So be conscious of, uh, of who you are um, and who your spouse is and what they need. And uh, you know, be on your best behavior for them. Uh, look the best for them. Act the best for them. Uh, never stop dating because uh, if you're not paying attention to your spouse, I guarantee someone else is. 
and uh, and that's how the divorce rates are so high in this in this in this world. Um, life is busy. We get caught up in work. We get caught up in the struggle. And um, again, stop taking care of yourself. Um, you see it all the time. You know, someone that you know you knew younger always dressed to the nines, and then you see him, you know, bouncing around in sweatpants and a dirty T-shirt, and uh, not taking care of themselves. And you know, um, their spouse obviously is not going to be attracted to that uh and they may start looking uh again also uh if uh you're not paying attention to them and someone else does there's a good chance you're going to lose them so uh just something to think about in your life for all my married couples married friends even if you're dating never stop dating your spouse always put in the effort always keep trying and uh if you have a bad day start over again the next day so uh that's my message for today um it's late a day Monday morning, sunshine day, nice week coming up. Oh, Kevin Brady's on. Kevin Brady, when am I getting my DPW t-shirt? I posted a picture of the garbage truck. Let's go. Go on my shirt. All right. So, anyone, hope you have a great week. Hope you uh, enjoyed this message. Please comment below, like, love, whatever you want to do. Let me know if, uh, if I'm on the right track with this. Um, just wanted to put something that's been bouncing around in my head. And I uh, wanted to share it with you guys. Again, I'm here for you. Um, not just for real estate or air conditioning, all the other stuff I do. Everyone knows I do that stuff, so I don't talk about it too much. Uh, but obviously, uh, that's what feeds my six kids is uh, real estate and, uh, and air conditioning. But um, what feeds my soul is talking to you. So uh, if anyone needs anything, I'm always around. If anyone wants to talk, I've had a bunch of people uh, PMing me. Feel free to reach out, call, text. If you want to go for a bike ride, 6 a.m. every morning. We talk in the morning. And... Uh, Again, throw some love out there. Let me know what you're thinking. Are you liking these messages? Um, you want more? You want me to talk about anything else that's going on in the world? Happy to chat. All right, everyone. God bless. Oh, wait. We didn't do prayers. Whew. I'm getting carried away here. Father Eugene's going to be disappointed. All right. So let's uh, let's do this. All right. Hold on. I know I haven't been dealing with all this on Holy Spirit. It's hard with the phone in my hand, but we'll do this. And we're going to do Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Dear God, please continue to watch over all my friends and family. Please keep everyone <clears throat> successful, confident, healthy. Uh, let everyone be the best versions of themselves. Um, please look over all my married friends because we know that struggle is going on. Uh, everyone's got a smile on their face and everyone's got a struggle in the background. So just because they're smiling, just because they're posting good stuff on social media doesn't mean there's a struggle going on in the background. We're all in this together. So anyway, listen to my message. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you all in the morning tomorrow. 6 a.m. we ride. I'd rather not ride by myself. I mean, I enjoy me and my uh, my friend over here. Where is he? Oh, there he is right there. But um, we get along well. But um, I enjoy the company. So 6 a.m., Scarcliffe Drive and Cornwall Avenue. Be there. We ride. We do about 10 miles. It takes about an hour. And then we're back and go to work. So, all right, everyone. Take care. See you soon.